Okay, this month's Unsung Hero is a man who'll be the first to tell you he's lucky to be alive. When you hear this 91-year-old World War II veteran story, you'll understand why. The minister gave us a preach in the morning, you know, before he went up to the front lines. And he'd say, you guys are all here right now, but some of you guys ain't coming back, you know. And you better prepare to confess your sins now, he said, for the next world. <laughs> More than 66 years have passed since the day that could easily have been George Sanger's last. Oh, there was a lot of racket I mean, going on, shells going on all over, you know, a lot of shells hitting the ground right aside you. You couldn't hear a tank, you are just numb, you know. Signal corpsman from Sauk County was caught in the heart of the Battle of the Bulge. To save my life, I was in the, the foxhole. I had another guy by the name of Harry Sagan. He was in there for three days and three nights. And the camera froze to death. I was all frostbitten all the way up my right side. He got cold and he says, Boy, your choice, I freeze it up. I gotta get out of here. He says, I told him, I said, You stick your head up and let it be blasted off him. They didn't take any prisoners from SS, SS troopers. They shot to kill. There were tanks running around all over. There was dozens of them, you know. During the battle, a German tank ran over their foxhole. They went to tracks right over the top. They thought that was the end of us. And we made it. <laughs> That's all I can say. After that, another terrifying sight. Most dreadful of all the camps was a Buchenwald. George was among the troops liberating the Buchenwald concentration camp. Well, we see tax of bodies all stacked up, you know, like cardwood hill, hundreds of three, four hundred meters or I think of it at night a lot of times. I think of about getting there, you know, and Buchenwald. It was a hell of a mess. I don't even want to talk about it. George Sanger learned a lesson for life amid all of that death. Well, that it was a war and it was cruel. You don't want to have one again. Coming as close as he did to dying, he knows how lucky he is to be able to say, I'm alive. <laughs> George not only survived being wounded in the Battle of the Bulge, his transport ship nearly sank in a typhoon on the way to Hiroshima, Japan, where he witnessed the horrific aftermath of the atomic bomb blast. And by the way, at home in Sauk County, he also survived being struck by lightning, a tangle with a deer during hunting season, and a logging accident. So he's one very lucky man, something for which he and Betty, his wife of 61 years, are very grateful.